Hello everybody, Dinky Doo, it's just me, Scotty McClue. I thought I'd pop up midweek. This is our official midweek pop-up. And just say hi, let you know how things are coming along, have a quick Dinky Doo with you, see what is what. For those of you who have never ever seen me before in your life, I am Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the big one, the one everybody talks about, the one everybody watches, and the one everybody listens to. I'm here with uh, 40 years' experience in television and radio, so that's how I actually earned the title of the world's top broadcaster, and I did phone-in shows for 25 years and uh, I can remember 460,000 people trying to reach me on the telephone in one week. So that's where I've come from. Uh, anyway, it's lovely, lovely to see you. Um, I'd like to um, update you with various things that are happening social media-wise. Being the world's top broadcaster, you have the pick of social media. And of course, my first stop is Facebook Live. Tremendous stuff. So we're always on Facebook Live on a Sunday night at 2200 hours British summer time. And that, of course, will change for Eastern Standard Time if you're watching in the United States of America. And you can also get me on YouTube. You will see a lot of broadcasts on YouTube. So feel free to get yourselves onto YouTube and put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And uh, if you can go on and subscribe, I'm needing about 100 and... Uh, 170 subscribers and then we could broadcast on there as a broadcast platform as well because what we're doing here is building the world's top talk show so we're picking up broadcast platforms all the time now just to update you i've started broadcasting on periscope twitter and periscope so if you want to take part of that if you can get yourselves on to um at scotty mcclue on twitter at Scotty McClue, follow me on Twitter, and then pick up on the Periscope broadcasts. So we'll be doing one of those later as well. And a lot of people like to watch Periscope. Uh, good sunny day, Scotty, says Frank McElroy. Andrew Miggins, lovely to see you, Scotty. Hi, Scotty, good to see you, says Nevik. Gavs Rolly Jones is watching, Stephen McFarlane, Dinky Doo, Frank McElroy. Lovely to have you all with me. And do spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Live on Facebook Live for a midweek pop-up. So you'll meet us on Sunday nights, 10 o'clock, for one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment on Facebook Live. The world's top broadcast platform. Also, you can catch up with me on Periscope. So those of you who can get onto Twitter and get onto Periscope, please get yourselves on there. And um, it would help tremendously if you could follow me on there and build up the followers. We've got about 30 followers. That should be a figure of maybe a couple of million. Scotty McClue should be able to command a couple of million followers on social media. So get following and following, guys. And you can also help not just me out, but help you out by sharing and sharing and sharing as much as possible. I know it seems a bit of a pain. You're like, ah, Scotty McClure again popped up on my Facebook page, Dinky Doo. But the important thing is it's better with, that we're there because then... We are all in touch. Also, you can go on to LinkedIn. If you're a business person, feel free to follow me on LinkedIn. Mark Alston, Dinky Doo. Hello, Mark. Dinky Doo to you from Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. Uh, our Periscope later might be, should Scotty McClue be the next president of the United States of America? Oh, yes. You may all well laugh. Remember they all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round? They all laughed when Edison discovered sound. So there's lots of high-level meetings going on right now about Scotty McClure and the next big step. So there you are. It's all happening. Hi, Scotty. Thanks for adding me as a friend, says James Seamus McCluskey over in uh, Derry there, in the county Derry. That's fantastic. Um, now, who else have we got? Yes, the other day, that's right. Sorry, I've not been on Sunday night with you. I've been starting work really early on Sunday morning, says Frank. Frank, please do not worry, because I shall also upload the videos to YouTube, and then we can catch up there. I think that's very, very important. But the big addition this week 
has been the Periscope broadcasts, and they seem to be doing very, very well. And also, I realise that there's a lot of sharing. Scotty McClue pops into your inbox again. You think, oh, here we go. But that's social media for you. So feel free to send that round. If you're not afraid of work, click share, 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 share. And uh, also, of course, we have still got the GoFundMe going. Now, it needs to be going a lot better, guys. Always, these things are slow to start, and people have an argument. They say, Scotty, should I not be feeding the children at food banks or giving money to charity or that? And you say, yes, of course. That's all very well. But if you give money to Scotty McClure so that I can start broadcasting wider and wider and uh, opening up the net for audience then uh, everybody gets to hear about it and you could feed millions and millions of people so there you go all brought about by political austerity dreadful 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 disaster actually a con to get the money back for the banks of course so everybody has been robbed in the process Happy day, Scotty. I love watching you, says Stephen Mooney. Dinky do, Stephen. And if you're watching in America, do let me know. Dinky do, says Mark Alston. That is tremendous. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you all with me. I have to say that. Now, spread the word, though. Actually type into your Facebook, Scotty McClure, the broadcaster, the world's top broadcaster, global broadcaster, will pop up occasionally live on Facebook Live. Oh, is that really is nowadays? Fantastic. So there you go. Happy days, Scotty. Absolutely, guys. Uh, can you share this broadcast right now? In fact, share, 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 share to all of your contacts. If that goes out to all of your contacts, and guys, right-click the links, be creative and inventive. Right-click the Scotty McClue links and send them round, and keep on sending them round. And uh, we will all get together. We'll build and build and build and build for all of us. And that is absolutely tremendous. Do you see I'm trying to keep back a little bit this afternoon? Because um, I think people get too much of the big McClue bus. Uh, so I like to sit back a bit. That's the latest thing. And uh, how's it going down at the pie factory, says Mark. Ha <laughs> ha, fantastic. McClure's pies, uh, as you know, they make 50 million a year. That's what it's all about. That's pies, of course, not dosh. Um, now then, the media have still got their eyes closed because they've not got you on national radio or television, says Frank. Frank, they have got their eyes closed. A handful of proprietors have turned British radio into a jukebox. And that's what you get, the same songs over and over again. Occasionally you'll get an announcement. Um, but uh, by and large presenters are uh, very difficult to find these days and uh, they're very difficult to listen to you don't hear the presenter doing much just coming Clyde that's the dog telling me he wants to go out for a walk so I shan't be long on here and uh, I can do with a vegetarian latte slice and a rich chicken and mushroom sauce yum yum yes McClure's pies we used to do the standard McClure's pie and uh, the hole in the middle nice and uh, nice and soft and then uh, we would also do the vegetarian lettuce slice in a rich chicken sauce. Very nice. Gary Moyle's watching. Dinky do, Gary. Lovely to have you with us. May Fraser's watching. Lovely to have you, May. Spread the word, guys. Come on, let's get the numbers up. Let's get everybody watching. I didn't give you a lot of warning about this. I just popped up. There's two schools of thought. One is tell everybody you're about to broadcast so they can be ready. The other thing is just pop up and get on with it. You know, what's the big problem? Uh, it's not as if uh, anybody's losing out. Give the dog a wee clap for me, Scotty. A bra dog, says Greg. He is an absolutely bra dog, Greg. You're quite right. A great guy. A very, very faithful friend. You've got plenty of Scooby snacks, says Frank. Oh, Scooby Scoobies. Absolutely very important. The old Scooby Doos. So that you're right. Uh, not yes, darling, we're just coming. Uh, so there we are. And uh, good to see you in the afternoon. I've shared your broadcast, says Nivik. Good. Nivik, thank you very, very much for that. That is excellent. And that also brings more. And I notice there's a lot of you. I was just doing a quick tally before I came on. Come here, you. And um, 4,000 people 
have uh, had a look at Sunday night. So I think that's great. The wonderful Dean Parks watching Scotland's finest entertainer. A terrific guy. If you ever get the chance to go to a Dean Park show, do. Uh, you know, I mean, Dean's not, he's, he's not straight out of drama school or anything like that. You know, he's been with us for a long time and he is Scotland's entertainer. Lovely, lovely guy. Great traditional entertainer. Pantomime, comedy, wonderful, wonderful singer. You get him singing New York, New York and the big hits. Tremendous. So there you are. So Dean Park, if you get the chance to go and see Dean Park, um, the last I heard was he's on at the Gaiety Theatre in Ayr. Now, the Gaiety Theatre is a very, very special place in Scottish entertainment. Lovely, lovely traditional theatre. So if you get the chance to go down there, it's worth a trip down. And whatever your tickets cost you, they're an absolute bargain. So there you go. Dean Park, dinky do to you, sir. I salute you. Now then. When are you coming to Derry, Scotty? Says James Shimmers of Crossy. I was in Derry not very long ago. I crossed the foil and then up the hill I came along the side, coming back from the south and across the foil and up the hill into Derry, I say. So there you are. Fantastic, really was. And uh, stopped at a nice place and had some tea and then pressed on because I was going up to the, uh, to the Giant's Causeway. I had to take big leaps to the Giants Causeway. Uh, you'd go a treat. Absolutely. I've always said if I got over to the Emerald Isle, they would go for Scotty McLean. Now, James, there'll be lots of argy-bargy, but do not tell me that an Irishman or an Irish lady does not enjoy a bit of banter and a bit of argy-bargy. And I was going to go on um, a couple of the big stations in Belfast, and I remember one of the uh, the guys saying, oh, I'd be a wee bit worried about Scotty coming on if the, if the marching season was on. I thought, don't be ridiculous. We would discuss the marching season and we'd have everybody on for a good old chat. So I would love to do a show in Ireland. So if you're ears to the ground, James, you tell them over there, Scotty McClue is the world's top broadcaster and um, would love to be emanating from the Emerald Isle of Swimmingall Way Bay. I've uh, been right round. I know the place like the back of my hand and I've never been made so welcome as when I was touring the Emerald Isle. So there we are, right down to the bottom, of course, down to Clonakilty and uh, the Ring of Kerry and all that sort of stuff. Kunamara, no problem at all. I, I hope you're well, mate, Scotty, says Rab Hill. So there we are. Dean Park, thanks for the start. Just telling the truth, Dean, of course. Letting the people know the facts. And um, Frank says, as Barbara Woodhouse said, walkies! Remember Barbara Woodhouse? Very interesting. I um, saw recently about all the letters that went back and forward between the British Bottom Cream and uh, Barbara Woodhouse. So they didn't take it easily. It's so interesting. There's a kind of, I don't know, they're a little bit up the top there, unsure of what it's about. I can remember reading about Dad's Army, which to me is one of the most fabulous, fabulous pieces of, uh, of comedy work. Um, comedy drama and um, the thing about it it's not really about an army or about war or about anything like that it's very very talented actors uh, using television to great effect and um, and genuinely extremely funny of course and um, the writers were terrific you know and um, David Croft and Jimmy Perry and um, what you've got there, I would love these guys to have been writing for Scotty McClue. Tremendous, because I've had to stagger by on my own material for 40 years, you know. But um, I would love these guys to write. And Galton and Simpson that wrote Steptoe and Son, you know. So you're these superb actors going about a lot of stage business effectively in front of the camera. If you see early Dad's Armies, then they are uh, effectively like a, a stage play filmed. And um, it's it's so interesting because the comment was even the BBC were beginning to realise they had a hit on their hands. And I have um, contacted the BBC on a few occasions, not too many. Uh, first applied to the BBC in 1975. 
uh, and I've uh, uh, you know contacted them from time to time and said, would you not want to take Scotty McClure and build the product up and make yourself some serious business, you know? And well, um, I don't know that it's the kind of thing. There's one guy who said it's not the kind of thing we would be interested in. Said one uh, programmer. And the thing is, I was never off the BBC at that time. I was appearing all the time on the BBC. So very, very strange. Anyway, not to worry about that. That's by the by. Uh, hello, Scotty. I hope you're well, says Rab Hill. Hi, Scotty. And Lexi Tracy is watching. Dinky do to you. So there we are. Um, when are you coming to Derry, says James. Well, that was the thing, James. As I say, I would love to do that. Anyway, I'd better push off. Um, keep a look out for periscopes. Share this as much as you can. If you've got a spare couple of quid, a fiver or something like that, pop it into the Scotty McClue fund. No pressure. You'll see it sitting at £5,000 is what we're hoping to raise in the early days. I know we're talking about £5 million when we get on, and we'll do that. But um, just to get starters, to get bits of equipment and get started, if you've got a spare fiver or a tenner um, or two quid or whatever, stick it into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. You'll see the links all over Facebook and Twitter. Click on the links. If you've genuinely got no money at all, still click on the GoFundMe page and uh, share the Facebook and Twitter logos. So that's, uh, that's brilliant. That would be the thing to do, guys. And also get on to Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. Over 10 million people have visited the Scotty McClue website, and um, you'll see lots of info there as well. Um, now, take care, Scotty. See you later. Absolutely. Bye, Scotty. See you next time. Best of luck with everything. And uh, thank you, guys, for joining us. Thanks for all your conversations. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky do. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A waiter, zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, lads, dinky do. Ta-da, lads.